hi everyone today i wanted to introduce this beautiful plant last night i was learning how to propagate it so i'm going to be doing a video on how to do that and um i really think this pot is too big for it and um i will be repotting it and trying to start some new ones because i really want to do like a rectangle pot full of these i think that would look beautiful and uh yeah so here we go okay so first of all we're gonna cut one of these let me see um, the ones that's disproportionate yeah. these are really long we want one that has plenty of nodes so let's go for this one here The first step just go ahead and cut your weed that you want to propagate and now to the next step okay hi everyone okay the next step in propagation for this type of plant the horse reed is well the idea is or the premise is that these little nodes is where a new plant is going to sprout you'll get the new growth one way and the root the other way but i mean you can't stick this they have to be submerged in water so the easiest way to do it is to just go ahead and cut okay and i'm not cutting in this area i'm cutting between okay so this is going to be a plant this is going to be a plant this is going to be a plant that one and let's see this one I don't know if these are going to work out because the, the little note is not that dark, but, huh? We'll try them out. Why not? Oh, see, this, this one's getting a little bit dark, so, eh, we'll try out these just as an experiment, but this one I'm going to go ahead and throw away because it is um, kind of dry. Okay, so, I did a bunch of research on this and I found a video in French about how to propagate these. And what he did is he actually, you know what, he, he, um, I think he left too much space. At the end, he ended up cutting these to size. So we won't leave that much. Just leave like an inch, okay? And the only ones that we're going to submerge and propagate are the ones that have the little dark band on them. Okay, so it's kind of like double work, but see, my mistakes uh, are your gain because that way you guys will know not to cut them so long. And yeah, because I saw him, he cut them at the end, he ended up cutting them all once they had rooted because they were too long. So, yeah, I think about an inch is good. All right, and these things are hollow. They're, they're like a straw. You know what? This, this, I don't know if Egyptians had these, they probably did, but this is probably what they used as a straw if they had straws, because that would be, if I was on a desert island, I would want some of these so that I could have myself a coconut drink okay so the next step is to get just a plastic water bottle okay and you fill it with some water i'm going to use just some regular drinking water no you know what just tap water is fine Go ahead and fill it like half and then go ahead and stick these remember the ones that have the little dark bands that's what we're gonna put in there <laughs> okay so we 
did that, that step here, he says to go ahead and put the lid on. And shake them so that they really get submerged in the water. And he closed the lid. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. The water's going to start getting a little murky <clears throat> after a, a few days. And that's when it's going to start rooting. And um, that's about it. So we'll go ahead and come back with another video with uh, the progress uh, once we have progress to report. So I'll go ahead and keep tabs on how many days it took. And hey, we'll try out this experiment together. All right, I will catch you later. Thanks again so much for subscribing and for watching and for your awesome comments. You guys have a super fantastic day. All right, talk to you later, bye.